kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 2 of my video series on learn YouTube using Android Studio. Ok guys so in this video I am going to show you how to integrate the YouTube API using Android Studio tool. So let's get started. So first of all let's create a new project and let's try to name it as YouTube tutorial okay just click next and now click on finish in the meanwhile let me just remove this project so in, uh, you need to download the YouTube Android player API okay so I will provide the link in the video description so you guys can get from there so you need to download it uh, okay so as I already have downloaded it so now you just need to extract it the zip file alright so what you will do is, is you just need to extract the zip file alright so now my android project is ready let me just uh, do a little bit of work because i have the dependency problem in my android studio so i just remove unpin that and i just need to add the app compat activity you don't need to do that because it is only my problem all right so basically okay so after you download it uh, so you will get the YouTube Android player API dot jar file okay so what you will do is you will just uh, copy that okay and okay so you can also do that in that way go to file new import project okay sorry import module all right no sorry you need to uh, go to new new module okay so in there you just need to click on import jar or double a r package okay click next and now you just need to import the jar file which you have downloaded so let me show you where it is it is in the desktop So here it is. Okay, click OK, and you just need to click on Finish. After that, so now you are able to see this directory. Okay, so the uh, last step is you need to go to Project Structure, then you need to go to Dependencies, and here you need to add the module dependency and you just need to click on ok and that is it you have successfully imported the youtube player api in your android studio so if we want to check if it is working or not so i will remove it and we will use the relative layout and inside that we can use the youtube player view all right yes so guys in our next video what we will do is we will start working on the api so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye